Hey guys, it's today's from the install bay. We're going to talk about series and parallel speaker combinations. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so all this typically starts with a subwoofer. You know, you either have to get a 2 ohm load, a 4 ohm load, an 8 ohm load, whatever. You're going to hook it up series, you're going to hook it up parallel. Ah, what do you do? Well, let's try to make it as simple as possible. So you have a dual voice coil. It means it's got two connection points at two ohm loads and you either want to add those two together or you're going to cut them in half. That's the easiest way to think about it. There is a big ohms law and we can do the, we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to try to take this as simple as possible. So we got a piece of paper, we got a pencil. Let's do some real basic math and try to figure out what we need. All right, let's make a chart. So what we have here is a dual two ohm driver in series. That's going to give us 4 ohm, which is simply taking a jumper like this and connecting it to one side, one positive and the other negative, and then using the existing two to go to the amplifier like this in parallel, it's going to give us 1 ohm. All right, so let's hook it up in parallel. What we need for parallel is four wires, two negatives, two positives. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook this up to one set of voice coils here. We're going to jump, we're going to have it go to that, to the other voice coil. All right, now then these four wires are going to go to the amplifier. A dual 4 ohm driver in series is going to give us 8 ohm, and in parallel, it's going to give us 2 ohm. So once we know that, we can kind of figure out what's going to happen anytime. Once we have these numbers, we can figure out whether we're doing 4 woofers, 8 woofers, 2 woofers, 1 woofer, it doesn't matter. Three woofers, we're not even going to go into that craziness, but let's stick with this. So, if we have, let's say, two, if we have two dual two ohm drivers, so that's going to be two, 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 and two, okay, we can either hook them in series or parallel. For right now, let's try series. So that gives us a four, and that gives us a four. All right, well, what does the amp need? Well, if the amp needs a two ohm load, we're golden because now we can parallel these and we can get a two ohm load. So we've now just done a series parallel application. Okay, so that's where knowing just these basic combinations right here will save you the headache and you can take this basic math and apply it to how many many woofers you want. So the other thing to keep in mind is when you're done is use a volt ohm meter. A volt ohm meter will check your math for you. But the nice thing about the chart is that the chart can be applied to any given scenario. So whether you're going to run four woofers or two woofers or one woofer, you can use that chart, plug the numbers in, and get the desired ohm load you're looking for. We've tried to make it as basic as possible because sometimes this just gets really stupid and there's really no point for it. Right? <laughs> Okay guys, well we hope you found this useful. If you like our videos, subscribe. If you have questions, leave them down below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, you guys have a great night and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, so now you're going, what, 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 what? Oh, relax. Let's just make a chart. Charts are cool. Everybody loves charts.